Hello, welcome to Boxing Day. I'm Ellie. We supply children's craft parties in boxes delivered to your door and we also have a range of videos where you can find out how to do some of the activities that are in the box. Today we're going to be making these fairy wings. They pin on the back of your daughter or son um, and they're pretty robust. These are a little bit creased because my children have been playing with them but this is what they look like after they've been played with so I think that's quite a good sign. So it's really very easy, as it always is. Um, I'm going to show you where we're going to start. First of all, I've got some nice thick paper. Um, there's probably a technical term for this paper, but I don't know what it is. Um, it's pretty robust. In the name of experiments, I have been trying to make these wings with other materials, and I tried beautiful multicolored tissue paper, and I just ended up with a bit of a soggy mess. So although it is a nice idea, I think we need to stick with some thicker paper. Having said that, I did my first prototype with newspaper and they were all right. Um, but this this is better. This is better. So a nice thick piece of card, uh, papery card even. Um, I just got this from a local craft shop. Very cheap. Um, I have a piece that is about two foot wide. It's the width of the whole sheet. And then about 18 inches up the side. It's up to you. Um, so, I'm going to turn it over, I have other bits, sorry, other bits, black marker pen, pair of scissors, small circle of card, just that I just cut out of something else, hope it's not important, um, safety pin, sticky tape, and a glue stick, easy see, so, it's just a bit of cutting, bit of folding, tiny bit of sticking, couldn't get better. On the reverse of my card, my paper, I'm going to draw a big wing shape. Now, it's all very freehand and it's all pretty straightforward. So, uh, I'm going to start roughly in the middle because I'm going to fold this over in a minute, so I need to draw one half. So, I'm going to go up and then a little swallowtail. Look, there we go. So, look, a bit like that. Okay. Now, use that as a folding point. So now I'm folding the middle of my paper. And uh, there we go, a bit like consequences. Not as much fun though. And, uh, and then I'm just going to cut around this shape. Okay, so bear with me. As with all of these crafts that I will show you, you don't have to be that accurate. You don't have to be a great draftsman. You just have to do it. Go around here. I'm sure if I was doing the full blue Peter, I'd have had this cut out ready, but I didn't think of that. <laughs> A bit curly because it's been rolled up waiting for this moment but um, you know how to unroll uncurl rolled up paper don't you it's just to roll it on its reverse so just reverse the curl hold it for a couple of minutes and that will just counteract the curl that you had in one direction um, usually works enough that you can do something with it well, it's still a bit of flappy right get rid of that rid of those. okay now I've got some very pretty fairy wings. I like this paper, it's nice. Now, keeping it still folded up, I'm going to start from my top edge here, and I'm going to start concertinaing it. I'm going to fold it like a paper fan, um, but I'm going to do it on the diagonal. So let me do a couple, and then a couple of folds, and then you'll see what I mean, because it makes more sense. Um, and I'm no structural engineer, but... Um, these do provide the bones, really, for the wings. And it means that suddenly, as if by magic, these floppy, curly bits of paper do stand out quite proud and they do behave themselves. So here we go. I've done a few, and this is going to be quite a good example because it will show you that I'm actually now going straight across the horizontal. This is what it looks like now. 
but as you can see, it's little at this end and it's big at this end. So if we just do a quick unfold to show you what I'm talking about. There we go. You can see those creases. They're coming in and they're working round, almost like you're folding a circle. Um, so that's what we're doing. Keep on going. And all this time, of course, you're folded in two, so you're, you're saving yourself quite a bit of work. And you're also, I think, giving it extra strengthening because the folds... Um, mirror, they don't quite mirror one another, they are their opposite on the other side, so that provides a little bit more tension and a little bit more rib, which is what we want, because we don't want these flapping around. Well, poor wannabe fairies looking like they've been standing out in the rain. There we go, last little bit. When you have the fairy magic box from me, um, then all of this is all done and you will just get a little stack of these wings ready to open up, stick a pin on and go. So that's, that's lovely, but this is just a really nice activity to do anyway, and we all need as much fairy magic as we can get these days, don't we? So, I've now got this thing that looks like a fan. Very pretty. Let's open it up, see the magic. There we go, looks like that. And there you go. Stunning. So, you can see what's going on there. And you can tweak these. And of course, there's nothing to stop you going um, going all glittery, sequiny. You can do what you like. I wouldn't stick anything heavy on like a button, but certainly sequins, glitter, be great. Be really lovely. Now, on the back here, final touches. Um, I've got this piece of card. I'm just going to stick a pin on it, so I've got some sticky tape. Obviously, and please don't feel insulted when I'm telling you this, but somebody out there is not going to know and this will help them. Um, I'm not going to stick the sellotape on this bit of the pin, I am going to stick it on this bit of the pin, okay? Pop that on there. There we go. Just like making badges when we were kids, nothing changes. <laughs> See, we've done some cutting, some sticking, a bit of fan making, and we're making badges now. So it's easy. It's nothing we haven't done before. Um, bit of glue. I'm going to put this actually straight on here because it's slightly easier. There we go. Nice big dollop of glue. I like that. Uh, get the pin on straight. That's a helpful tip. Okay, and when that dries you have got yourself some lovely fairy wings. As I say, my pink ones that I showed you earlier on, they've been played with and played with and played with. Um, my six-year-old is enchanted with them, so they get used a lot. <laughs> Had to make the video before they got even more beaten up. But they are more than just one afternoon wonders, which is quite nice. Not exactly heirloom, heirloom stuff, but um, that's not sticking yet. The glue's not dry. But, you get the point. So there we are. Paper fairy wings. I really hope you like them. Please do subscribe to our Facebook channel, um, to our Facebook channel, which is www.facebook.com forward slash Boxing Day Parties, and keep an eye on what we're up to. Do keep coming back for more videos. If there's anything you'd like to know, any videos you'd like to see, then please get in touch, and um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.